So this is a new series that we're starting called Toge Tuning. As many of you guys know, we do have a series called Toge Battles where we actually battle out the cars on the Toge. Well, this is pretty much just getting the cars ready, you know, tuning them for the Toge Battles that are yet to come. Also, on a side note, we just dropped our new sticker design. So if you'd like to go ahead and support the channel, click the link down below. The website's only gonna be open for a few days, so be sure to cop something if you're interested. Now let's get on with today's video. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm actually by myself and I'm actually in the Bay Area right now. Andrew is in New York for about a month, so I'm gonna be filming by myself for pretty much a solid month. Unless if any of you guys wanna come out and film with me, just hit me up. Also, excuse me, I'm actually just getting over a cold. That's why my nose sounds kinda nasally. But today, I'm gonna be actually taking the 240 out on a little toge shakedown. So I've already got the camera mounted up and everything. And let me just give you a quick rundown of the car before we start driving it. If you guys are new to the channel, this is our S14 and it's pretty much bone stock aside from some cheap coilovers and some rep wheels but this car is going to be changing the build direction very soon actually so originally this was going to be a budget build and a drift missile but honestly we're scrapping that this is just too clean of a car to be doing that plus i think i kind of grown out of that phase not taking any shots to anybody that you know drifts their car or whatever but i just think you know what seekers is is all about tow gang you know that's where the endless pursuit came from was because of tow gang and so we want to turn this car into more of a grip car and uh today i'm going to be doing a little shakedown on it this car is nowhere near perfect the suspension is kind of blown we're actually running only three coilovers that are fully functional the driver's side rear one is actually kind of broken so it's clunking around let's just get on with the driving All right, y'all, so this is gonna be my first ever toge shakedown with this car. I've actually never really driven real wheel drive cars on the mountains, but um, it should be fun. Sucks that Andrew couldn't be here, though. It's all good, he'll be back. So, the noise coming from behind me is the coilover that's clunking. It's pretty bad. So I'm not gonna be driving this car super hard because, for one, I had never really driven a real wheel drive car in the toge before. And uh, holy shit, this car is slammed and there's a lot of bumps on this road, but man, this car is very sketchy. Cause it's also on 225s on a nine and a half. And oh, <laughs> holy shit. I just realized I can't even heel toe because when I was doing the manual swap, I cut the brake pedal too much. You guys can roast me in the comments. But man, I just want to put this car back on the right track again because I want this car to be drivable, like to its full capability. Alright, here's when the toe starts. Holy shit. Holy shit. Nah, this is way, way different than a real wheel, I mean, front wheel drive car. The rear end just wants to kick out like immediately. Also, this might not this might not also be a smart idea, but I'm also on a welded diff, which is not good. Not good. Yeah, I can't even heel toe. This is embarrassing. I physically cannot heel toe because the brake pedal is too far away from the gas. But this road is fun. Like, I miss this. I miss this every time I come back to the bay. But this car is super... Right, I'll try heel towing. Holy shit, the brakes just locked up. This car has no ABS, by the way. Hopefully the camera on the back is doing okay. It looks like it is. Uh, this is where the bump happens, okay? The bump, the bump. Where, yep, right there. Oh, shit! Yo, that shit just got squirrely. Dude, I'm getting 
chased by a Volkswagen. This is embarrassing. Oh shit, Mike. I don't even want to go in the second. Yo, this thing is so sketchy. This thing is so sketchy. It's actually embarrassing. And like with the limited amount of experience that I have, like sliding this car, I can suck. Oh shit, there's a car. There's a car. And that was just kind of sketchy. That was kind of sketchy. Holy tits. Holy tits. Nah, this car is just getting too much attention right now. And the speed limit is, you know, I'm not even going past the speed limit, which is, I don't even know why I'm concerned about it. But like, I'm doing totally fine. I'm just cruising, bro. And just enjoying this view. Like, look at this view. It's beautiful. I miss this about the bay. And I don't know if I have to shout this loud, but this car is just super loud on the inside. Look at this view. It's absolutely amazing. Why do I even want to live in LA? <laughs> this isn't even like, it's not like that fun. It's more, oh crap, like I can't even feel so. I just know I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. I'm not even trying to like sugarcoat anything. Like this car is absolutely dog shit. Like what was I thinking? What were we thinking? <laughs> the exhaust is literally scraping everywhere. It's not fun, but it's sketchy. In a way it's kind of fun because like it's embarrassing and I'm just clowning myself. But it's like I'm taking my slam car on the toge. Not many people would do that, and there's a good reason I can see why, because <laughs> you literally lose control. Yeah, the more, the more, if I gas it anymore, I can literally feel the car on edge of wanting to kick out. And it's pretty cold today, so that doesn't really help either. The tires, are, it just takes longer to warm up. Alright, he'll tell a second, let's see. Also, the thing is, this car doesn't sound like it wants to be revved out. It just sounds like monotone. I really want to fix this car. I don't know why the brakes feel so touchy, because every time I heel toe, or try to, the brakes lock up. I think, I think there's something wrong with the brakes. Stop right over here. This car needs a lot of work and it's kind of embarrassing bringing it up here because like I just know this car can't handle it. What I want you guys to take from this video is that we are turning things around with this car. I'm sorry, it's just peace and quiet now. It's super loud. But what I want you guys to take from this video is that, you know, Andrew and I are not afraid to admit our mistakes and you know, Building a car is all about trial and error, you know, you might not do the right thing the first time and you know To other people it might not be the right thing But you're just doing what you want to do and you're figuring things out as like the progression of the build Keeps on going, you know, so like we knew that you know We wanted to try out this little drift build and it didn't work out. We just don't like it We're not enjoying it as much as our Hondas and we're, we're taking our Hondas to the track and we're literally taking it up to the mountain roads and everything And that's what I want to do with this car, but this car It just cannot handle it, bro. Like it's just it's just too It's too half-assed right now, and we want to change that oh. Yeah Man, oh man, the Bay Area really is nice. <laughs> I really miss the Bay. Yeah, this car, it, it may look good right here, but I just, I can't get over the fact that the rep parts and uh, the quality of these manufacturers just put into these shitty parts. Like even these headlights, bro, I hate it. I, I just really want this car to be, you know, how Seekers is building it, not what everyone else is building it on YouTube because, you know, that was actually one of the reasons why we got this car was because we saw a lot of people liking 240s. And that's why I kind of regret getting rid of the RX-7 FC because now I'm kind of in this limbo where I don't know if I like the RX-7 more or this car because I still do like this car, but I don't know which one I like more. Man, you gotta love the S2Ks. If only Bill or Brandon could come out here, dude. It would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. 
But yeah, guys, if you do want to see more of this car and how it progresses later on, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're actually going to be doing a lot more Toge content. This also includes our other friends' cars as well as the Hondas. And uh, if you guys would like to support our channel, we actually do have a shop. We just released three new designs. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.